Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard Gene, the fishing machine here. Hey, first fish of the morning, right? Here. Look at that. First fish. That's a rock bass. Another name for them is red eye. Not a real big one, but that's probably going to be about the average size. Uh, they get quite a bit bigger. You never know. Now, <clears throat> let's let this fish go, then we'll talk about it. Okay, let the little fella go. Boy, them are some pretty red eyes on those fish right there. And I'm going to say this. They're delicious eating fish, too. Used to eat them a lot. What I'm going to do is show you the bait that I'm going to be using. It is an ace rock bass killer, along with other species. How many fish have y'all caught on a finesse TRD? That's the regular size Z-Man uh, TRD. It's 2.75 inches long. I'll show it to you right here. When rigged up, it's 2.75 inches long. Two or three quarter inches long. And have you ever, ever used its little counterpart? Which is this bait right here. It's just a downsized version of the original. It's a finesse presentation. It's a finesse presentation, folks, that will definitely, definitely catch you a lot of fish in creeks, ponds, rivers, lakes. It don't make any difference. Wherever you want to fish it. Here's the downside side version of the... It's, it's a micro TRD made by Z-Man. Now, it is 1.75 inches long. Okay. Little bitty bait but the bait this bait right here is perfect for what we're going to be doing today perfect it's perfect for targeting red eye bass which are really rock bass is the real name for that fish it's perfect to target war mouth uh, red breast sunfish green sunfish it's the perfect size for those species. And don't be surprised if you catch a bass or two targeting those fish. But I love to target specifically one species at a time if I can. And this is a great bait right here, folks, to target rock bass. There, you can see the size difference. There's a big size difference. And both of these baits right here I have rigged up with the uh, shroom head this is uh, the bigger version or actually the smallest version of the bigger version that's a 1 20th um, of an ounce shroom head that's the one that I, I uh, rigged the bigger baits up with okay excuse me this is the one thirtieth of an ounce if y'all can see that it is tiny matter of fact let me hold them up so y'all can compare the size okay tiny 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 in comparison as far as tackle goes when I fish this bait right here I want a light action rod this is a six and a half foot sow belly rod it has a real light tip. You know, the weight of the rod's real light. Here's a new reel that I bought. It's a Garcia, uh, y'all hold on. It's a Garcia Revo. Um, I think it's a six, eight, and one gear ratio. I believe that's right. It's not as quick as the rocket that they make. And I have it loaded with eight pound test high vis braid six pound test fluorocarbon leader but if you notice i have it um a loop knot there in that jig head uh, a loop knot tied 
that's to get see see how that knot's moving on that eyelet. That's to give it more action. This bait, these baits are designed to hit the bottom, boom, and then stand up. Okay, like that. And when you move them along the bottom, boom, 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 like that, it'll stand back up again. That's why you get bit so much on this on these baits. The big one is the same way, or big one. It's not a big one. A version of it is the same way. So fishing on the bottom for rock bass is a very effective way to, to catch them. Just like if you were fishing for bass with this bait. They just can't resist it, folks. Try it out. A lot of times you got to walk down these creeks, or it, in this case, up them, a long ways before you find some deeper water. And usually, when you find some deeper water, you're going to find some productive water. Yep, it's a small rock bass. I mean a little one, but I got him. There's probably several. They were fixing to catch a few fish. Him's little, but he's beautiful. That's my target species. But now that I'm in here, I really don't care what I catch. Look at there. Ain't that simple. There's one. I believe we got another rock bass. See how he's shaking his head? Hey, and there's a little bass following him right there. We found a hole that's got some fish in it, finally. And I've stressed that a lot. That's a pretty good rock bass. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I stress that a lot uh, because I've had it happen a lot to me. You never know how these creeks open up. There's always normally, not always, but normally, in a lot of these creeks, there's going to be some deep holes. And when you find them, there'll be fish in them. Let's let him go right here. There he goes. Look how quick that fish is. I don't know if y'all can see him. Now I'm working this bait like a Ned, uh, Ned rig right now. See this little bait will float up on that little mushroom head. It's just a head that's designed for these little baits. And it'll stand up just like a Ned should. And that's what makes it so dangerous. Here's another one. Another rock bass. You can tell a rock bass. You'll feel that. Brrrr. They're really shaking. When you first hook them, they start shaking that head like crazy. Pretty little fish. Nothing wrong with that. There he goes. I ain't bleeding. I took my time so he could live. Okay, folks, I'm going to try this color. It's got a red head. To me, that represents gills, and it's a minor color. Minor color. So let's try that. These may be minor eaters. That's deep over there. That's actually the deepest water that I've there's a fish right there. I don't know what that is. He was following my bait. There we go. Oh, my. My, my. This is a big rock bass right here. Shaking his head. I can tell he's a rock bass. This is what I've been, <laughs> this is what I've been wanting to catch. I knew there's one in that deep hole. Look here, what a fish. That's a good one. It's wrapped up a little bit. That's a good fish right there. That's what I'm talking about. Golly. Woo-wee. Look at that pretty, pretty thing. My goodness. No, you don't do that. That's a big one. That is a good one. Golly, you talking about some good eating. 
We used to eat these all the time, folks, all the time, when I was a kid. My, 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 my. We'll walk on over here and take a look at this one. This is a beautiful, beautiful fish. I'm going to tell y'all what. For these parts around here, that's a big one. That's a big son of a gun right there. And ever since I changed that color to more like a, a miner looking color, it, uh, uh, hey, I've been catching more fish, getting more bites. Uh, they, these dudes love the creek minnows too, not just crawfish. They're, they're an opportunist, but it may be because the sun's out for the most part. Every once in a while, the sun will duck behind a, a cloud, but for the most part, it's sunny. Maybe because of that, why they're hitting that bait so good, but still, let's let him go. Let me show that to y'all. May not catch our another in that big. I don't know nothing about this. Mm. Right, let's let him go. Where'd he go? He went under that millfall. There's actually millfall in here too. I think that's pretty. But he went in it. <laughs> he hid from me in it. Let's see if we can flush him out. Probably not. Ain't no telling. He might have went on up in here or there. But ain't that cool? Let's see if we can catch another one. The way my mind works is simple. After I catch a fish, well, and let him go, okay? For some reason or the other, I want to catch another. <coughs> what was that? Let's try that again. That rocker somewhere right there. There he is. Golly. Man. I tell you what would be funner than this. If I had me, if I had brought my ultralight outfit, golly. Two pound test line is what I'm talking about. And I'm talking about that wimpy ultralight. I could be having that one's pregnant. Look at there. Look at there, what a belly. That fish has got to be, got to be pregnant. Okay. Let's handle her with ease. I like, I want her to lay a bunch of rockhead babies. Oh. Put her back right here. Wow. Don't take no time and they're gone. You throw, I don't know why they're ganged up over there like that, but. Let's try her again. There he is. There is so many fish over there. It's just like crappie ganged up or something. Ain't that something? Now this is a good one. That is a good rocker right there. My goodness, I wish y'all was here with me. Oh, looky there, what a... When I lifted him up, my doggone drag slipped. Look at there. I mean, looky there. They... Big old thing, good eating. I mean it. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to catch me some of these things. And we're going to have a feast. I tell you, I do better when it comes to rock bass. Let's let this bait hit the bottom right here. Okay, it's on the bottom. By working a bait, twitching it right off the bottom when it comes to rock bass, uh, opposed to throwing out there, throw, making a cast and just reeling it back like that, like you would a crop for a crappie. 
I just I catch a lot more if I'll keep in contact with the bottom. There's fish. Oh my goodness. Now that's a big rock bass. That's a big one right there. I believe that's the biggest one for the day. Look here, folks. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about for sure. Yep. Golly, I'm going to have to show y'all this. One. Now, I caught this one. I'm walking back. I'm, I'm done. I'm give out. So I pulled out a Nico Helgramite. And uh, look here what we caught. That's a good one. Good one. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to keep fishing on down with this Nico. That's another good bait for these creeks. I catch a lot of big smallmouth and big rock bass with a Nico Helgramite. It's a three inch bait. And uh, I mix it up. Let's let him go. That's a big one right there. My, there he goes. Well, folks, let me tell y'all what the truth is. The truth is, I love to explore and not knowing anything about a creek is fascinating to me. I like to see what's in, in them. This particular creek right here didn't disappoint. I had a lot of fun, um, caught a lot of fish, and learned a new area. Exploring's a lot of fun out here in God's country, folks. This is God's country. No matter where you live, it's God's country. He created it and you. He created it. A fish is hit right there. Y'all see that? There's a bass after a fish. He created this for y'all to enjoy it. Take care of it. Take care of yourself. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the great comments. Everything y'all do is appreciated. Hey, hey man. Woo. Let me lay this here. Woo. Okay, here's a stick. It's a, no. Woo. Meal for Hey, man. Woo. <laughs> and remember... Go on fishing when you can, but all this good for you.